All right, as always, uh, appreciate you guys, you know, covering us and, and uh, all you do for our program. Uh, you know, obviously disappointed about the way we, we played. And as I said uh, the day after, you know, that uh, <clears throat> thank you for saving me, by the way. Um, you know, again, that, that, uh, that's a reflection on me as a coach. And uh, I was very disappointed about, by the way we played and, and uh, examined everything, all three phases and, every, and our approach to the, to the game. And, and clearly, we're, uh, we're making some changes and got to make sure uh, that we don't uh, have that again. But uh, clearly, I was disappointed and I take responsibility for that. Uh, I've had, uh, you know, real good practice today, spirited practice, and uh, obviously we know the challenge ahead of us in Duke. I think, uh, as their coach said, you know, for 95% of, of the game on Saturday against Tech, they, they played as about as good as they could play. They're playing very good football right now. Um, it's a team with, uh, with veterans, a real veteran secondary, aggressive eight-man front, very similar to uh, what we saw against Virginia Tech. We have to be patient with the run game because uh, they commit so many guys to it. They're doing a good job against the run and uh, really have done a good job being in every, every game uh, this year uh, with their defense. Uh, excellent in the kicking game, uh, kick returns, kickoff coverage, uh, punters, uh, outstanding. And then on offense, I think they got a real sharp uh, quarterback, does a great job distributing the balls. Uh, uh, Vernon and Varner doing a great job for them. The running backs, in addition to carrying the ball, have caught 50 around 50 catches, and uh, don't let the 100 yards a game rushing fool you. Uh, one's, one running back's rushing for 6.4 carry, and the other's 4.6 a carry. So uh, clearly, uh, they're running uh, when they feel like they have to run, and, and obviously, they get a lot of catch and runs through their passing game. So with that, I'll open it up to any questions. How you mentioned changes, something you can talk about? Well, again, I mean, I just think it's our approach. You know, I mean, uh, again, I if I have any regrets, it's uh, that I really I tried to protect the team too much here over the last two and a half weeks, uh, given that, that span of playing three games in a condensed uh, period, uh, really on the tail end of, uh, of seven straight weeks. And uh, so uh, I'm disappointed uh, in the way we played. And uh, you know, certainly, I think that might have something to do with it. There's a lot of other things, though, to be honest with just the way we're practicing, the things that we're practicing, our emphasis. and. Uh, you know, some of them I can't share with you, um, but certainly we're we're uh, we're trying to get the right personnel in there and, and also practice the way we, I think we need to practice here down the home stretch. So there might be some lineup changes. Oh, I think so. I mean, I think you'll see. You well, I mean, you're starting to see more of certain guys. I mean, you're starting to see more of Dyron Dye at tight end, for instance. You know, I mean, uh, he missed, you know, seven weeks basically of practice for us, and uh, he's starting to play more at tight end. I think Perry's starting to play more at at tight end. Uh, I think we feel more comfortable with uh, Eduardo at running back. I think he's starting to he'll, he'll start to play some more. Um, you know, so um, offensive line, I think uh, Chantrell and Bunch will, will start to play some more now. Um, again, I can go on and on, but uh, I just think we're, we're trying to get the right combinations and, and, uh, and make sure we, uh, we approach this game a little bit differently than we approached the last one. Yeah, again, I think I was really excited. We moved him uh, towards the tail end of training camp, and, and then he then he was suspended. And um, and again, so you're talking, you know, the, the the ten days before the Maryland game, and then the the, the next, you know, uh, month or so. Uh, so now he's just starting to to understand it a little bit better. And uh, and don't forget when uh, when some of the defensive players were not with us when the opener, we had to move Perry back to defense. Uh, for the opener and then moving back to tight end. So again, uh, those shifts plus uh, Corey White and Blake being out for the year has really hurt that position. And uh, hopefully those guys will continue to make progress along with Chase and Clive and, and Asante and, and, uh, and, and improve our, our spot there. Correct. Yeah. I mean, just, you know, um, you know, physical North Carolina team going the next week against a, uh, you know, basically a, a, an option team where, you know, so you have to be physical there uh, against them and a lot of cuts. And so I wanted to make sure that uh, 
you know, we were fresh for that one, and then uh, then a Thursday night game. And, and again, uh, again, I take responsibility. I don't think we played as well as we need to play. Um, we weren't uh, as focused as we need to to be, and uh, and clearly we got at, out executed and, and to some extent uh, out out toughed uh, by Virginia. So that falls on my shoulders. Period. Yeah, I think it's tough, but I think Steven's done a nice job here. I think uh, his maturity, his confidence has really grown. Um, you guys don't really see him too much. We see him a lot in practice, and uh, I'm excited about his development and his maturity and his knowledge of the game. And I think you all know Steven is blessed with a strong arm, and uh, and he's fast. You know, Steven's legitimately fast. He's faster than Jacory, and, and Jacory is is you know doing a lot with his escape ability and scrambling right now. So. Um, I'm excited about Steven moving forward and, and appreciate uh, what he did when he went in the other night. Did you think he might, do you think that pass might have done it or? Might have. Were you, while, you were, while you were watching, did you think maybe we're going to win this game the, on the last the, pass? Well, yeah, well, I, I don't know. I mean, again, I'm tired of being, you know, just a couple of yards short, to be honest with you. I mean, um, you know, could we have went, uh, you know, could Eduardo had gone, you know, across the field or to the sideline and that type of thing? Yeah, I mean. But we were answering those questions after Kansas State, you know, and, and that we put ourselves in that position. You know, we failed to convert a, a fourth and one, our fault. Uh, we dropped the ball on the 12-yard line. That was on the 13, the fourth and one, I believe. Dropped the ball, missed a field goal, roughed a, roughed a kicker, and gave up a fake field goal. Those are like turnovers. So, again, uh, just, you know, really disappointed in that. And, and, uh, and I know the team and, and coaches want, want to do everything we can to, to get a fix this week. Yeah, I think the hardest thing, Tim, the hardest thing here is, and, and, I, and, I, and I mean this with all respect, because everybody in the room has a job to do, and I have a job to do, uh, but my job is to fight you internally, <laughs> to be honest with you. So I don't fight you in this setting. I, I, I try to help you. I try to be opus and open and honest and, and as earnest as I can and without compromising what we're doing on offense, defense, or special teams. But when we beat Georgia Tech, and the first question at 5 o'clock the next night is, well, you know, now you're home for two, and, and isn't it nice to be home for two before you go to Florida State? It's like, whoa. I mean, th those days are over. Check college football now. Those days are over. The empires are over. I mean, you got you to gotta put the money in the bank every week. The monopolies are over. There's not many anymore. There's not many. And, and, and when you get one, you get the quarterback, and you get the, the nucleus, you got to make a run. And that's what it is. It's about building that type of team. So. I hope I'm answering your question in that for me, man, it's about teaching these kids the process and, and don't derive your, your motivation externally. It's about doing your job, executing your role, and clearly you don't know as a coach, and I don't care what coach you are, you don't know as a coach uh, when that ball's kicked off, you know, you, you think you prepared them, you think you did it, <clears throat> everything you could. You checked every box, you run scared, as Coach Paterno used to tell us, just run scared until the ball's kicked off. And then, you know, you can see by either some of the comments in the game or the next day in, in, when, we're, when we're watching the, the video, whether or not kids really were in tune to every little thing that they were for the previous week. Now, I could get their attention for Georgia Tech because they turn on the film and they know one guy out of place and that thing is smoking for 70 yards. Uh, but uh, we, we, we lost their attention a little bit. And I think a lot of it has to do with, you know, everybody always trying to move forward, trying to think in the next big game is Florida State. No, the next big game is Duke for us right now. This is a big, big game, a great challenge for us on all three phases, not just on defense. In all three phases right now, they're playing a lot of guys on defense. They're playing really well. They're stopping the run, and they're committed to stopping the run, so we better be sharp. Um, and I think special teams is really good, and on offense, they pose a lot of problems, so we're just trying to focus on today. So. I'm not really worried too much about next year or, or the bowl game and, and all that stuff. And we're just trying to get, get good today.